Hi everyone. Today we are going to do uh, two questions. One is maximum depth of a binary tree and the other one, another one is minimum depth of a binary tree. These two questions belong to the series of uh, recursion based pattern for binary trees. All right, let's start. So the first question says that given a root of a binary tree, return its maximum depth. A binary tree's maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node to the farthest leaf node. So they have given an example of a binary tree here and for this they have said output is equal to 3. If you remember from the discussion where we where I had introduced what a binary tree is and had mentioned some concepts concepts about it, I told you all that the depth of a binary tree can either be given in terms of edges. Edges means a line which is connecting between two nodes, right? Between 3 and 9 we have an edge, right? So a uh, depth can be given in number of edges or it can also be given in terms of number of nodes and it will be mentioned in question what they are asking for. So in this question as you can see they have mentioned that maximum depth can be given by the number of nodes along the longest path going from the root, root node. Root node is the first node in the tree and the leaf node is basically that node whose left and right child are none, right? Now in neat code if you can look at the input sometimes it is difficult for people to understand what this uh, you know way of representation of binary trees so let's go through it quickly first so if you can see that 3 9 20 null null 15 7 so what this is the way they have represented this okay if i have to put it in terms of my um, you know in the tree format is what i will get in the diagram so what they do is in the, they start from left to right okay from top to bottom left to right so on the top what do you have three there is only one uh, number so that's why three is here after that you come down here what you can say you're going to because you have two uh you know uh, nodes 9 and 20 at the same level you have to go from left to right so what is in the left 9 what is at the right 20 so you can see 9 and 20 after that in the next level 9 does not have any children it's a leaf node so both left and right are going to be written as null and null okay then 20 has what 15 then 7 Okay, so this is how the tree is represented. So with this information, I think you can also understand what how this tree will look like. So one will be your root node. Okay, the left child of one is null and the right child of one is basically two. So basically it's a tree with one and the right child is two. How did we understand this? Well, because the in lead code, most of these binary trees are represented in a fashion where the, where the number of the nodes, the data in the nodes is written from top to bottom, left to right. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, so we are supposed to find out the maximum depth. So if you can just look at the question, they have asked us that this we have to just, you know, complete this question. We have to give an integer value and in your parameters, you have a root. Now, they've also defined the binary tree node for you. The name of the class is tree node. It has left, right, and the data is represented by a variable called as val, right? And you have all these parameterized constructors. So you just have to finish this. Okay, so let's try and understand how we can solve this using recursion. So the first is we have, um, let's say three, let's say the same example, which is given to us in the input three, nine, 20, okay, 15 and seven. So let's remember, let's remind ourselves that depth, that also maximum depth is nothing but the total number of nodes it has seen, right? Number of nodes, you know, from the root node to the farthest leaf. Okay, that means let's try to understand what this means. From the root node, okay, I can go to leaf. There's, this is one leaf. How many nodes do I have here? Two nodes I have. So let's write with a different color. Let's say from, from 3, this is one of the leaf. How many nodes do I have? Two nodes. From, 20, from 3, this is another leaf node. How many nodes do you have on the way? 3, 20 and 15. That is 3. What about this? 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so maximum depth is basically the maximum number of nodes which are going from root to leaf path, right? That is what the question is saying. So what is the maximum value between 2, 3 and 3 is 3. So the maximum depth for this question should be 3. Let's just check that that is the answer. Yes, so this is the answer. Let's talk about this question 1, null and 2. Okay, so you have 1, null means there's nothing going to be any, there's no there's not going to be any left child and right child is going to be 2. So what are the number of nodes which are going from the root to the leaf node? We just have one leaf node here, right? So how many nodes are there? Two nodes are there. So the height should be equal to 2. And that is what our answer is, right? I hope this is making sense, right? What this is. Now let's understand how we can solve this problem, okay? If 
first thing is how would you understand that this is a recursion based question right so the uh, to understand such you know identify questions whether they are recursion based questions very easy most of the recursion based questions are those questions where you have to traverse each and every node of the uh, binary tree and you have to come up with you know some maximum value or minimum value of a height or something like that right so like in this case what we basically like we are we were trying to we're just trying to understand the question and you know come up with an answer by using just uh, board and pen right so if you look at this what we what i did to come through the answer is i actually identified all the leaf nodes and until leaf nodes i counted how many nodes i have visited on the path like if i take a different color suppose let's say um, i started with one right i always start with my root node and then i said i i, I stop here and this is because a leaf node that's why i stop here how many nodes i have seen so far two i start from here again i go to the right hand side from your two from here if i go to again left i'll have three nodes i go here three that means i need to visit my all the nodes starting from root to the leaf and then whatever maximum value I get that will be the value of the depth so that should give you a hint of you know whenever you uh, feel that in a binary tree you can receive I mean you can get the answer by visiting each node of the tree always think about traversals and travels are usually done by recursion okay I hope that helps so let's start with this uh, so think about this if you have only one node in a binary tree possible yes a binary tree is basically a tree where you can have at max two children right at max means you can also have nodes which with have which have you know only zero children yeah fit one children correct so if that is my case tell me how does your node look like it will look something like this right you can have any values here what will be the height of such tree height of the such tree will be one because we are giving height as maximum number of nodes from root to lift this is only the root this is only a leaf we have how many nodes one so this is your maximum height correct Second, what is it? If I give you a null tree, that means an empty tree, what will be your height? Your height will be equal to zero because there are no nodes altogether, correct? So with this two information, let's try to come up for the maximum, uh, you know, uh, height for this binary tree. Let's say one, two, three. This is your root. Okay, let's start. So first thing, what you're going to do is I'm going to say if if my root is equal to equal to null. I'm going to simply return a zero. Why? Right? Because we saw if it's empty, then you're going to return a zero. Correct? Fine. If not, if not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say int left. Okay, I'm going to find out what is the height of the binary tree to the left of it and what is the height to the right of it. Right? And then what I need to find out? Maximum depth, right? So let me take the maximum between the two values, right? That is what I'm going to do. So here I'm going to say int left so let's call this function as you know solve okay and you have passed a root here okay this is a function just a pseudo code so i'm going to call the function again solve and i'm going to say go to root dot left now tell me do i have to uh, check whether my root dot left is null what will happen if my root dot left is null even if your root dot left is null not worries when you call this function this particular condition will take care of it and return a value as zero right then you get your int right equal to solve root dot right okay right so far i've written i've not completed the code let's try run the code on this simple binary tree so let's see what we get so let's take a different color let's say i can change the color yes so let's say i have this one okay so initially you're calling from this root now from this what you're saying is it null no so where you're going to go you're going to come here you're going to say solve root dot left that means you're going to call the function again on the left hand side so what is the left hand side this is this so in this function call this is your root in the second function call is this value equal to null no so what you're going to do you're going to call its left but what is the left null so when you do this is your root value correct now when you go to null what this condition becomes true that root is equal to equal to null yes what are you going to return you are going to return let's take a different color let's say to green so you're going to return a value of zero why right? because if it is null you're returning zero similar thing you will have actually do even for the right hand side why right? think about this in recursion from this you return means you've got a zero here correct that means you have come back here after this there's one another line which is int right equal to solve root dot right so the root was this right means this side you're going to go again this is null okay so in this function call value of my root is null if this is null again this condition will be true is root equal to equal to null yes what are you going to return back you're going to return back the value as zero correct so now what do i have left is also pointing to zero right is also pointing to zero what should be the height only at this level 
if my this is my root okay that means at this particular subtree what is my height height is equal to one why height is nothing but the maximum number of nodes on that particular subtree correct so in this my subtree my height is what one how do i how will i get one i will do one plus maximum value of whatever i get a value of left whatever i get a value of right and this is what will you return now why did i get this y one because this one right this root also i have to consider no so this value is one right how many nodes are this one node so this is the one this is the count for the root the root node needs to be counted plus whatever my maximum to my left and my right subtree what is the maximum height with the maximum height is you know whatever you get so here in this case both are zero so what you're going to get one so what actually you're returning this has to return to someone whom this is going to return to its parent who was the parent of two we came from one right so we are going to return what the value of one which is the height at this particular uh, subtree okay same logic you will apply to the right hand side why because when you this was your root you have basically just completed this call which is int left now you have to have another call which is int right by the same reasoning you are also this is going to this will be null this will be null so this will return zero this will return zero and because this is zero one plus zero is going to give me what one yes let me just draw it properly it became a so this is basically your one two three this has returned you a value of one this has returned you a value of one this is your root okay so you have come back with a function call where the first function call where you have called it on the root now here what you're going to do one one because you have to count the root node right plus the maximum value of left and right both left and right are one because there's just one nodes on both the sides what should be your value one plus one which is equal to so two so basically from anywhere from your public static void main where you'll be calling this function what value will be returned two value will be returned okay so we have taken care of everything yes i hope this makes sense now let's try to understand what happens when you have an unbalanced tree unbalanced tree means something like this okay so if you see here the left hand side this is i mean what is the maximum height one two three so your maximum height actually it would come to 3 right because you can see this is 3 how many nodes are there 1 2 3 and how many nodes are there 2 what should be the value maximum which is 3 so let's give us some values here just for our understanding so you have 1 2 3 4 5 what is the first function call you do on this one right now this one is going to call its left child so this is your root here okay let's take a different color this is your root this is also your root now this is again going to call what to the root if you remember from recursion recursion actually completes one side of the call right so if you see here there are two calls of recursion so first it will complete this entire call and then it will go to the next call so here what i'm doing is root root now because you know this is what again a leaf node if it is leaf node means this values are going to give me zero this is going to return a zero 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 plus one is going to return a value of one so this has returned a value one what about this two again you're going to call your right again this is a leaf node this will also return a value one when you're standing at the node two what are the left left and right left and right is one and one one plus one is going to give you what the value two which you're going to return to your parent so two is returned to the parent one what about this right the right hand side after this you have to go to the right hand side in the right hand side this becomes my root now this is a leaf node means this value is going to return what one because there is only one node now now what you have you have your left for this root which is one you have left value as two right value as one right we are supposed to find out maximum value yes now it makes sense one because for the root right plus maximum of left and right which is nothing but one plus two which is equal to three and that is what we got yes i hope you understood so this is how you would solve a maximum depth problem it's pure recursion only thing where I have seen students, you know, can get confused is in the recursion part. So if in case your recursion is a little weak, then might be you will have some issues in the, you know, trees question. My entire motive of doing this recursion based questions of trees is so that, you know, it also helps you in understanding recursion better. All right. So this is it. Now tell me what will be the time complexity before we go to the code. What is the time complexity of this? See, you are visiting every node of the tree. Yes. So if there are n nodes, how many? How much is the time Perfect. what about height height of the tree will be at max what is i mean sorry space complexity will be the number of recursion calls you do for the 
uh, this right because that much uh, space you will take in the recursion stack right so can i say in the worst case it is o of n and in the best case it will be somewhere around omega of log n right use omega for best cases so it will be around log n to n why am i saying log n because if my tree is balanced like this then you know the height of the tree okay will be log n right i hope you remember this right but if in case my tree is skewed either in the left direction or in the right direction so this is the entire height is going to be the n right so my number of recursion calls which i will be making is also going to be o of n so that is that many calls if are there so that many that much space i will have in my recursion stack right i hope you understand this about the recursion stack because in recursion what happens is this entire line will be finished first unless and until this last call is finished i cannot you know remove my two the function call which has been done on the second would i cannot remove it right it's like if unless and until your children have finished parents cannot uh, you know complete their uh, execution that is what you're doing you cannot finish one unless and until your execution of two is done so you're going to go until you know your base conditions are reached and this is whatever these many how many calls you'll have one two and three so three calls will be in your recursion stack and that is what we are referring to it will be equal to at max in your worst case it will be equal to o of n best case would be log n if you have a balanced binary thing okay fine so let's come to the code and uh, now write the code we know this is tree node now it is very simple what are you going to do here the first is the base condition yes so if your root value is equal to equal to null so obviously you need to return a value of zero yes because there's i mean there is no number of nodes so the depth is also equal to zero next is what i'm going to say calculate left int left equal to max depth right i'm going to call the function again for root dot left okay then i'm going to do int right equal to max step okay and i'm going to do root dot uh, right now some of your uh, some of the students when i have been taught uh, teaching they have usually have a doubt ma'am can i do right first and then left you know later on if i change the order will there be any issues in this particular question there won't be an issue right it's just that you will first discover the right hand side and then go to the left hand side should not be much of a difference then you're going to return one plus math dot max so if you have to find out maximum between two values there is a function of java directly math math it belongs to the math class so math dot maximum of you give the variables left comma right so whatever maximum we get that will be multiplied and added with one and will be returned okay so if i submit this it should work and it is accepted okay i hope this helps